But Ann yeah. Schmaltz is here from News 1130, sports director from News 1130, to talk all things Canucks. Everybody's excited about this game, but I, I think the sports world went a little crazy when the New York Rangers and the Vancouver Canucks basically swapped coaches. Isn't that the craziest thing? It is. It hasn't happened in the world of sports that I know of. And, and it the, seems like a fit for both. Really, it actually, the more you think about it, it does make sense. Um, both of them high-profile coaches, and they've landed with high-profile teams. And changes were needed with both organizations. And it's going to be fun to see how uh, the season unfolds, obviously, for the Canucks. But I bet you Canucks fans will be following along to see how the Rangers season unfolds, too. How do you think he's fitting in with the culture? I mean, that's got to be a tough role to come in saying, I'm going to be the leader, I need to gain the trust, and they need to motivate these players. Because some people say, change had to be done because the players just they, they weren't being motivated they weren't inspired anymore well that's true and my observations over the last few weeks I do sense a shift of change within that locker room I think that those players specifically the leadership core know that he's come in to, to light a firecracker um, I'm curious to see if he can sustain that for an 82 regular season game and then you know have to start over again the start of the postseason hopefully um, but I think it's been a welcome change so far. I think they're fired up and they're they're um, on board with what he wants to bring to this team and hopefully deliver. As a member of the media that is in the rank day in and day out, you are here covering the Canucks. Your first impressions of John Tortorella when you first sat in the same room with the man. Do you know what? I like him. It doesn't matter really what I think. It's the players that have to buy in, but I'm on board with him. He uh, reminds me of an old high school basketball coach that I had, so I get him, and I just love his passion. I don't take his rough and gruffness personally. I mean, he's a competitive guy, and you better be when you're in the world of professional sports. So I really think it is completely different than what we saw from AV, and full marks for him and a lot of respect for him, but it's two different philosophies and two different ways of approaching, you know, sparking that fire and lighting the fire with this team so it'll be interesting but so far so good now I say that with the team not having gone on a three game winning or losing, losing streak, streak you know yeah. he hasn't had to hook Luongo yet so yeah. we'll see I know some people may say it is only the preseason but when you look at what's going to happen tonight who is this a bigger game for is it uh, coach AV coming back knowing this is his former team or is it a statement for John Tortorella to say you know what this is this is the new era well no doubt it's a big game for both but you have to think here in Vancouver the fact that the Canucks have been bounced the last two seasons in the first round this team you know their record so far in the preseason is one and four. This team, Tortorella and the players, they want to go into the start of the regular season on a winning note. So it has to be a huge game for, for the Canucks. How do you think the fans will receive AV's return? I'm expecting it to be a really warm welcome for him. I mean, he was here for seven years um, in the world of uh, sports, uh, head coach, in any sport doesn't last seven years without some success and he has certainly delivered came a little short of the ultimate goal but I mean he has left a legacy here and he has done some really good things. Zan, uh, your blog is phenomenal. Where do people find the blog? Well it's actually just I'm uh, providing this season some feature human interest stories on Canucks.com so I'm really lucky to be able to you know do those stories that we don't see or hear day in and day out and you can go to Canucks.com and find it there. So tell us the story of how John Tortorella connected with this young Rangers fan. Well as I was mentioning the HBO 24-7 series a few years back the Philadelphia Flyers New York Rangers um, at a Charity of Dreams um, event. Tortorella was introduced to this young fan, Liam Trainer. He's 12 years old now. He was 10 then, and he's challenged with cerebral palsy. But for whatever reason, the two just developed this connection, and they just took to one another. And Liam is a fantastic New York Rangers fan. He bleeds red, blue, and white. And they just have really developed a special relationship. And Torts does keep in touch with this young boy. They text all the time, and both of them have said now Liam through the media, but Torts I actually talked to him about. They were both a little sad that he was no longer going to be part of the Rangers and then when Liam found out he was moving west the distance between the two didn't sit well with them but as Torts said there's no goodbyes between the two of them they keep in touch and they'll uh, see each other when they can and he's hoping that he can get him to come out here and you know he knows he's always going to be a Rangers fan but he's trying to win him over to cheer for two teams and you know the Canucks bring him on board the Canucks bandwagon. You know it's always great hearing these stories and uh, the beauty of doing a show like Breakfast Television is that over the years we've got the chance to see the other side of the players you know aside from all of the the hockey talk but uh, you've watched the team closely we've seen a preseason that hasn't given results that you know can lead to 
to the excitement. What do you see is the greatest need for the Vancouver Canucks now? They've got new leadership, but with the with the youth movement, what is the greatest need? Well, right now, obviously, there is a change with the coaching system. So the team and essentially the core group has to buy into this new system that Torts wants to implement. You know, he's all about you know pressuring with the four check playing hard and physical on the boards, create turnovers. And that's something that these players, it's a system that they haven't played. You know, the fundamentals of hockey, they get. But for seven years to try to break some habits that have been implemented from Elaine Vigneault is going to take some time. So I don't expect it to happen overnight, not even maybe a week or a month. You know, give it some time so Canucks fans really have to be patient with this team. But I think, you know, the end results are going to be there. We'd re be remiss if we didn't at least bring up Roberto Luongo and the difference in the coaching styles and maybe the John Tortorella is taking a little bit of the bright spotlight off the goaltending situation? Well, yes, but we all know, you know, Luongo is a, a fierce competitor and it's approaching October and we know he doesn't do so well in October, but I expect Luongo to have a really good year for the main reason he wants to prove to himself he can get back to that elite goaltender that he has been and I'm wanting to see it be consistent. And for the Canucks advantage, they've got that little, you know, carrot dangling of it's an Olympic year and we know how proud Luongo is. He wants to be part of Team Canada to defend that gold medal he won just here four years ago. So I really expect him to do well and just kind of... Who do you think the backup's going to be? Oh, Eddie Lack. Yeah. Eddie Lack for sure? It's Eddie Lack, yes. So we're going to be the keeping terrific. track. We're going to be keeping track of the Vancouver Canucks, of course. We're going to also keep track of tonight's opponent, the New York Rangers. And everybody's also got one eye on the New Jersey Devils now as the oh. Corey Schneider count continues. Coming October 8th. Yeah. Four games into the season, the Devils will be here. And I, you have to think the Devils coach is going to start Schneider in goal that night. You have to think. It's going to be a good matchup right there. <laughs> and thanks so much for coming on the show Anytime. and sharing Thank these you thoughts on our great. team. Uh, more of your comments of who you want to see win tonight. Coach Torts or is it Coach AV? We're taking a break, getting you into the 8 o'clock hour in just a few.